This is the HGLRC Forward F7 flight controller. Pretty nice looking. I've always been a fan of HGLRC. Um, even back when people were hating on the F428 stack because it had pins and it came with the little plastic standoffs. Um, I remember tons of people breaking their, their stacks, the, that particular stack. And then they started sending them with the long M2 steel screws. And uh, that never happened again. Big fan of the F440 stack. I love that stack. And then I love their 1106 flame motors and uh, their 1407s or 1408s. Yeah, I love those things too. Um, so yeah, that's the, the, this is the forward F7. Isn't it a, a F4 and a F3 put together to make it an F7? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, I'm not sure exactly where they are. I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, but I think this is the F4 and this is the F3. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. I don't really care, but there's the OSD. And then these are the BECs, I believe. Pretty heavy duty. Um, it has a, it's got a five volt BEC at three amps. And there's two pads for it right here. There's one here and one here. And then it has an 8 volt at 1.5 amps for your VTX. So that's for your camera of VTX. The VTX is 8 volts, which is nice because, you know, Unify has to be 7 volts on most of them besides the 5 volt one. And uh, tons of other VTXs need to be at least 7 volts as well. So that's perfect. There's a... And then next to that's ground and then video out. There's a, a UART right here. TX and RX, and then there's a video in, ground, and then your 5 volt. Then you got 5 volt, battery, ground, and 5 volt. Oh, wait, 8 volt. Is that 8? Yeah. So there's two pads for the 8 volt and two pads for the 5 volt BEC. So you don't have to double up or triple up your wires on one pad, which is really nice that they do that. Um, and then this has like a really old school, I mean, it brought me back when I saw this right here. You got the signal pads and then RAM. And then grounds, which is pretty old school, but it's cool because they have this, you know, you could do it this way if you want, uh, especially if you're using single ESCs. But then they also have it this way with the eight pin plug, you know, that has all the signal and uh, battery and ground and current, I think. I'm not sure what else. I know there's battery, ground four signals, current, and I think maybe telemetry. So yeah, that's nice that they have that. Um, and then they have this other plug. I'm not sure what this one's for. I guess it goes in here. Oh, that must be the same as these pads over here, that the, the uh, GPS and receiver pads. I'm not 100% on that, but it does show it right here. It doesn't show what that plug's for, though. Or maybe it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's the GPS stuff right there. So you can hook up your GPS with this plug if you wanted to. Or you can use the pads. They have uh, pads uh, right here for your GPS as well. And then right here is all your receiver pads. You got a 3.3 and 5 volt and then your RX1, RSSI. So that's all your receiver stuff right there. Um, you got your LED over here and I already showed these, that's the signals and current. Oh, you know what? This has four LEDs. I forgot about that. So I guess there's only two LED pads, one right here and one right here, but there's four plugs for LEDs. It's this one, this one, this one, and this one. So that's really awesome that they have that. That is really cool because, you know, most of the time you have to either use a separate controller. Like I used one before. I cannot remember the name of it, but it's this really cool LED driver um, to drive like ton, like up to almost 30 LEDs or something. So that's really nice that they have this. And in four different corners, that's just awesome. So you can really put a lot of LEDs on this thing. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Um, 
So since it's an F7, well, I've actually tried using 32K on some F7s and it didn't work. I was only able to do 16K on some of them. This one, it says it can do 32K. We'll see if it can or not. Um, but I think that it can. I'm pretty sure it can. So, but yeah, I'll check on that and let you guys know after I install it and try it out. Pretty nice though. It's kind of hefty. It's like 10 grams. Um, it's $40. So price isn't too bad for what you're getting. You're getting a lot of stuff. All right. Um, I think that's all I got. So it comes with some uh, M3 stuff, some standoff screws and nuts, the two plugs, and this card. That's it. So there you go, HGLRC Forward F7 Flight Controller.